It's fairly simple to make a double reed woodwind instrument out of a plastic straw. What you have to do is you take the straw in one end, I'm going to cut off a corner, and then I'm going to flip it over and cut off another corner. This effectively gives me two reeds. Um, instruments like the oboe and the bassoon have double reeds, whereas saxophone and clarinet have a single reed. Now I need to flare out the two reeds, so I'm going to use my thumb and press in there and make it to where they kind of flare out. This is similar to using, say, some scissors to make ribbon curl. When I get that and make it a little bit flexible, I can put it in my mouth, um, put my lips over the straw, don't let your teeth bite into the straw, and I blow, and you get a surprisingly loud sound. So blowing over the two flexible reeds causes them to vibrate, and that vibration gets magnified by the air column in the straw. Like all air columns, the longer the column, the longer the wavelength of the sound wave, which means the lower the frequency. So we get a lower pitch with a long straw. However, if we make the straw shorter, the pitch gets higher and higher as the straw gets shorter. Now the problem with this is you can always go up in frequency, go up a note, but you can't go back down. So our musical instruments typically have valves where you can open and close openings in the straw or in the instrument, the air column, in order to effectively lengthen or shorten the length of the air column. You can do this with your straw instrument, so I'm going to start a new one. Seems to be working fine. And with a hole puncher, I'm going to punch half circles along the top of the straw so that when my fingers go over these circles, I can open and close. So I've got four holes punched in the top. I cover them with my fingers. And just like any musical instrument, you would blow into it and open different holes or openings in order to shorten, lengthen the air column. <laughs> so trial and error could help you in the spacing in order to get uh, notes to make it sound a little more pleasant. If you want to magnify the sound, you can put a little funnel on the end of your straw and just like most of our musical instruments have that horn, this will also greatly magnify the sound that we get. So the next uh, several clips in this video show close-up pictures and video of completing the double reed woodwind straw instrument. We'll now see a close-up view of how to make the double reed woodwind straw instrument. I'm going to take my plastic straw and I'm going to take the one end, usually I do the end that has the uh, flexi part on it, and I pinch it down and I'm going to cut off a corner. I turn it over, keep it pinched down, and cut off another corner. Some people make these with a pointed tip. I don't think it matters one way or the other. I typically don't make them with a pointed tip. But we have to flare this out in order to get the double reeds to vibrate when we blow over it. So I'm going to use my thumb and I'm just going to pinch down in and then my thumb and my forefinger can kind of curl it out. This is similar to what you would do with a pair of scissors and um, some ribbon where you make it curl. So we're trying to make this curl out a little bit. 
and you can see that it works. So in order to punch the holes in, I'm going to say, okay, if I put it in this way where this is the top, I want my holes along the top. So I'm going to pinch the straw and use my hole puncher to punch in a half circle on top of the straw. And then I can move down and do another one and another and another. So now this gives me four openings that I can close with my fingers above. If you want to increase the amplitude of your instrument, you can put carefully tape a, a small funnel to the end of it and that will greatly magnify its volume.